How can this theory um, be used to make better decisions? Now, f first thing is, from the point of view of an economic scientist, um, the theory is going to, you know, the theory, the heart of the theory has to be right. It's it's a government, it's a budget constraint. So uh, that's going to operate no matter what your ideology. It's not a matter of ideology. It's a matter of um, so th so that theory is operating and. Um, it's going to be operating a century from now. So um, the question is, how can we turn it to get good outcomes? If the government were to shift to a more expansive monetary policy in Japan, or fiscal policy in Japan or Europe, um, it would be essential that, that it was understood as, as expanding government debt, that is, the amount of government tape paper in circulation, without any commitment to back it with future taxes. But people have histor are historically used to the idea that government debt is mainly backed by increases in future taxes, that prices remain stable. So somehow we need policy shifts that convince people that the government is serious about expanding demand with fiscal policy and without backing it with taxation until the economy is really back on its feet. But we don't really know how exactly how you um, get the public's perception to change that way. This idea that monetary policymakers simply, when a bad shock comes along, they cut interest rates to offset that shock. And when when a, a good shock comes along, or, uh, you you uh, you raise interest rates so you don't have too much inflation. Um, that only works if you're not close to the lower bound on interest rates. If you're close to the lower bound on interest rates then you have a problem. You're not able to use your monetary policy tool. I think another really important area of research for the fiscal theory, or I don't want to put it in those terms, just for fiscal policy in general is, how can fiscal policy best uh, s uh, step up and fill in the gaps for monetary policy when you're at that, are close to that uh, effective lower bound on interest rates? In the US, we have such huge disagreements about fiscal policy in Congress that uh, no action can be taken, essentially. Certainly no bold new policy initiative seems likely. Um, and then in Europe, the problem is no one country's legislature in Europe can engineer a Europe-wide fiscal expansion. Uh, and there's great disagreement amongst the countries as to whether fiscal expansion would be a good idea. And no institution where they can get together and discuss it and arrive at a policy. This is all quite discouraging. A lot of people in Europe, I think, realize that they need to create institutions um, that they don't yet have that would let them make common decisions about fiscal policy at the Euro-wide level. But it's it seems like it's going to take, it's taking much longer than I had initially hoped.